The funny thing about winning an Olympic medal or you know, specifically in the United States being an Olympic champion is it does change your life. You train your whole life for that moment, you train to be Olympic champion, you train to be the best, and that's all you think about. You don't think about like what comes after the gold medal, but your life does change. And for me, I was completely unprepared for it. Mostly, it changes in good ways. I mean, I drive a nicer car, and I have a little more financial stability, and um, you get like your little 15 minutes of fame where you're going to all the parties and the awards shows and speaking events and things like that, and that's fun and it's great. Um, but you also, when you become an Olympic champion, you know, I used to cry on this mat out there every night before the Olympics because I would be so frustrated or so upset or just so emotionally worn out. And, you know, when you, when you walk through that door as an Olympic champion, all eyes are on you. Everyone's watching you. People expect a certain um, behavior from you. And I'm, I am a role model to little girls and boys and judoka and even adults, you know, I get emails or letters or fan mail from all over the world and I would never thought, never thought anyone would want my signature, you know, let alone people in Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan. So, you know, there's a lot more responsibility, um, but to me it's just, it makes it that much better. You know, it's such an honor for me to be, to have little girls dress up for, as me for Halloween. Like, that is so crazy and awesome in so many ways. And I want to do everything in my power to make sure that I stay a good role model and I do behave in a way that you know, people can be proud of and can, people can want to emulate.